But first at six, a day of celebration turns into tragedy on Route 50 at Route 213 in Queen Anne's County, Maryland. A pregnant woman and four other people were headed to her baby shower when they were killed in a crash with a tractor trailer. Kevin Lewis is near the crash scene with what police are saying about the cause of this terrible accident. Kevin. Well, Kimberly, this is where that crash occurred. Police telling us it was a T-bone collision between a semi truck and a small car. That semi hit the car, pushed it over four lanes of traffic up onto this embankment. The semi then flipped over and ran right into this sign, which belongs to the community college here. Believe it or not, police telling us the damage to the car was even worse. The recovery effort was both tragic and tedious. A tractor trailer lying on its side, a compact car crushed beyond recognition along a rural stretch of Route 50 in Queen Anne's County. And that's, that's a significant loss of life. Police say five people, including a pregnant woman, died when the fully loaded tractor trailer T-boned a 2006 Suzuki Forenza, which looked like this. The tractor trailer apparently rolled over the top of the car after it had pushed it across uh, the westbound and eastbound lanes of Route 50. Killed on impact, 24-year-old Regina Ayers, her boyfriend, 25-year-old Travis Stratton, plus Ayers' 7-year-old daughter Jordan and 2-month-old son Jonathan. Ayers' 30-year-old pregnant sister Zarissa also died in the crash. This invitation posted on Zarissa's Facebook page indicates the family was traveling to Baltimore for her baby shower scheduled for one o'clock today. The damage was significant. The tractor trailer, which was hauling 44,000 pounds of cargo, was also badly damaged. Maryland State Police say it's clear someone blew a red light. The question is who? This is why we call them traffic crashes and not traffic accidents, because uh, something causes that collision to occur. Uh, and that's the, uh, the focus of the state police investigation right now. Now, state police tell us the semi truck was traveling from North Carolina to Delaware. The 28 year old driver was seriously injured and airlifted up to Baltimore shock trauma. He, however, is expected to survive. We're live in Queen Anne's County tonight. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. Mm, the one